Before most practices, ESA runners circle up. One by one, they each say something they're thankful for. I said the weather because it's been gloomy and kind of rainy and a little bit cold for a while now. The gratitude circle is a staple in what coach Laura McGann teaches. It's even right there on her shoes. AG, that's attitude of gratitude. Gratitude is being simply being, being grateful for the little things that happen that are good in life. How's everybody feeling? Many in that circle today are grateful to simply practice. Just months ago, that was certainly not a given. I mean, coach would say to us often, we don't know what race or what even practice is our last. The coronavirus pandemic stole from all of us. For many high school seniors, it stole their senior season. That cliche statement, practice like it's your last, is very real for these kids. And so was the pandemic. When they called me, I immediately said yes. Coach McGann is a member of the Medical Reserve, a network of volunteer groups across the country trained to give care amidst a national disaster. In this case, a pandemic. Throughout the summer, she spent a few days each week testing people for COVID. Senior Elaine Malik started going with her. Why am I putting my mask on? Why do I have to wipe down the table every time? Like, why can't I just like, when practice is over, why can't I leave? Why do I have to like do all these extra steps? And when I went with her, I just appreciated all those little steps more. While Coach McGann remembers the fear and desperation many had at that test site, Elaine takes away the brighter moments. One of the nurse told whoever she was on the phone with, like, oh, like, you're negative, like, you're good. And it was just, like, an exciting moment. We were all, like, cheering about it. And it was such, like, a little thing in hindsight, but it was so exciting at that moment. Life has a whole lot of good things. But if we don't, if we don't focus on those things and just focus on what's bad, what's terrible, what's difficult, what's challenging, it's, it, it's, it becomes a hard life. Armed with a newfound perspective on life, Elaine finished second at the state cross country meet this year. She broke the school record. There's a saying that I heard from one of the cross country seniors who's graduated now, but she used to say winners focus on winning and losers focus on winners. And I really took that to heart this year. The ESA girls won their fifth cross country title in six years this fall. Nice job, Aiden, keep it going. Now in track season, the girls team is seeking its third straight district title. A year after spring athletes lost their chance to compete, just competing means more than ever. Focus on the good things a beautiful campus to come to, a beautiful weather, a nice sunny day, a walk with a friend. It's the little things in life. If you focus on those things on a daily basis, life is so much easier. Um, you, you just have this peace from embracing all those things that are good in your life rather than the hard.